Hey everyone, uh, Matt here from Shep's Aquatics. Um, I don't know, I suppose it's the first time I'm ever doing a video, so this will be an introductory video on to my very small setup at the moment with the possibility of expanding um, and going much bigger with a complete fish room and breeding setup is my future goals um, so a little bit about myself I've been breeding fish since I was about seven so we are going on nearly 22 years now I bring breeding fish on and off mainly sticking with the live bearers um, and bristle nose plecos um, recently just going into trying to breed some basic egg layers and actually just got my first ever lot of shrimp and I'm gonna go into breeding and trying to sell shrimp and propagating plants um, so I actually have some as you can see down the bottom here um, growing up to actually take to my mother-in-law's <laughs> which is why I decided that I'll actually start growing them and hopefully selling them in the future and the hobby to grow the fish room um, in regards but I will give you a rough idea on how big the fish room will be in a minute um, but first I'll start going through some of my tanks so in this one we have a little aqua Aqua one setup with my little cherry cherry shrimp in it. Um, I did just get one of my cousins to give me a scoop full out of their tank, which happened to be a Skittles tank. So I've done my best to separate the reds. Um, there is a couple of really shrimp in here. Um, also a couple of blues because she only gave me two blue shrimp out of the whole scoop. And that actually, the one there, happens to be a little red-blue, really. Um, it's got red tail and head and a nice blue body. Um, so it'd be really nice if I can get a few more of those to come out of this tank. And here in the tank next to it, I have one um, Borneo sucker sitting right there on that rock. Um, there is two female peppermint um, bristlenose placos in here um, and one male all about four centimeters long four to five centimeters long so still growing up to breeding size as well as five um, white cloud minnows um, that's my first egg layer breeding project which I did get a couple of eggs in here yesterday morning, um, so I'm just waiting to see if they do do hatch. Um, it's just a little breeder box that hangs on the side of the tank. Um, I cut up a couple of old breeder boxes that I had to make a little tray so I can separate the adults from the eggs when they lay them in that moss and they fall through. Um, there is also a couple of um, sparkling gouramis in this tank as well. Um, that's one hiding there underneath the filter. Um, I run most of my stuff on sponge filters um, just because it's easier and more accessible and cheaper. So below these guys we have um, at the moment just a couple of grow out tubs. Um, mostly with Java fern and Anubias. So, in this one you can see a couple of Java ferns. In this one you can see some Java ferns with some babies growing on it. And they're growing up really nicely. And here we have some Anubias with another Java fern leaf with um, some babies growing off it. If you look really closely you can see the babies 
going off it. Um, so a good fact about Java Fern, if a leaf falls off, let the leaf float on top of your tank and it should sprout babies. Um, oh yes, I also have some yellow and orange shrimp in this tub as well. Um, so I'm just using this tub as basically a cleaning tub to um, for the shrimp to eat all the algae before this before this lot actually goes to my mother-in-law's. I'm just setting up a big chinchilla tank for her, um, which I'll have chinchillas here. I'm not exactly sure what breed they are, but they are. In this tub, we have some balloon mollies along with another java fern which is absolutely loaded with babies um, as you can see all the babies growing off it i think each leaf has at least five or six babies growing on it it is going absolutely crazy um also have some jungle vesteria um and not, i'm honestly not exactly sure what that is I pulled it out of my parents' pond and it is going nuts. Um, in these tubs, I have some activated substrate um, and it goes absolutely nuts. I keep it in these tubs to keep a check on the runners and to keep it all in, all in one spot so it's just easier to grow, easy to move from tank to tank and create a better, a better system for removing it. In this last tank is the African cichlids, which will be going to my mother-in-law's place, along with some more jungle vowel and some, uh, I call it mini jungle vowel. It only grows about half the size of that one, they're both thin, thin jungle bell, but one only grows about half the size for some reason. Um, so I've always just had it, and of course we have Nemo. Um, my girlfriend's four-year-old wanted a, a Nemo fish, so we got him a goldfish and we called him Nemo. And this was Nemo's tank until the African cichlids come and took over. But once again the jungle valve is in these pots which keeps it contained it makes it really easy moving from tank to tank. So if it starts to grow a bit of weed I just throw it in with the mollies uh, grows algae sorry I just throw it in with the balloon mollies and they eat all the algae off it. Mm. I also have some bigger movers just floating in the top of the tank. Um, just growing up, I split these all off my main display tank inside. Um, so there is my small, small setup for now. I am waiting on two more tanks to set up as grow, grow tanks, hopefully for fry from the white clouds and um, possibly another shrimp tank. Um, when I sort out all the yellow shrimp out of the oranges, greens, and skittles in that little tank there. Um, oh, if you notice the bucket, I am just, I've squeezed out a sponge filter into the bucket, and I am now just seeding this hang on the back filter um, to go into another tank, which I'm going to be setting up to grow plants specifically. I'm going to set it up with um, CO2 and just grow plants specifically in that tank with probably a skittle tank a shrimp just to eat algae and keep the plants clean. Um, so that is basically what I've got at the moment and what I'm doing at the moment um, as 
my new tanks turn up and I help set them up. And I set them up, I'll bring you guys along for the ride. Um, as I was saying, I am building a fish room. The fish room will be about 2.2 meters high. Um, the full length of this shed, which is nine meters. Um, wide, oh sorry, six meters wide, sorry, six meters wide by three meters long. Probably three rows of fish tanks too high. Um, and they will most, li most likely be all. So most of those aquariums will be two foot aquariums, roughly 20 gallons. Um, there will also be one six foot aquarium I think it is six foot by one and a half by two foot high I think it is um, and I think there is a four foot by two foot by two foot aquarium that I have to pick up from my um, grandparents place I was thinking about doing a native fish tank so with um, Lots of flow, lots of rainbows, like native rainbows, um, native gudgeons, um, um, blue, blue um, crayfish or yabbies, and maybe some long arm shrimp. So yeah, that's that's just about it. Um, thank you guys for listening. Um, and it would be great if you guys would like and subscribe to my page um, and please comment any help or questions would be um, much appreciated so thank you very much and see you all next time